Six years ago, Rwanda hosted Connect Africa. At that time, the most important thing was to see how to uh, connect Africa to the rest of the world in terms of uh, telecommunication and new technologies. Now, today we are looking at how we can build on the investments we've already made to actually start impacting lives in a more significant way. More than 2.5 million people using mobile financial solutions. It has helped the country deepen financial inclusion. It is making money more faster in the economy and therefore creating more value and creating a lot of jobs. We'll be talking about smart education, smart healthcare, smart government, smart businesses, smart agriculture. Any sector that is touched by the development planning needs to be supported by ICT. That is our approach to mainstreaming ICT to develop. Well, we are completing our infrastructure rollout with 4G LTE network, a super fast network that is going to make broadband universally available in Rwanda within a space of three years. In parallel, we are building our skills. We are upgrading both in terms of quality and numbers of people that are trained in ICT. In fact, in parallel, we are building uh, innovation with young people who will be able to develop applications and content that are going to transform how business is done in the different sectors. The government encourages uh, government officials to use different social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook and others, so that the government remains in touch with the people and especially the young people. If we had to go through the industrialization stage, I don't think Africa will ever catch up with the world. So now the globe is entering into a numeric economy or a knowledge economy, and this is the opportunity for us to catch up. And the way we do it is we lay out the infrastructure, is we train our people, and we come up with businesses that use those skills and infrastructure.